Let me switch, if I may, to some student questions, which will be completely in a different direction. Um, first one comes from Nick Zhu in uh, an architectural design co-term, so this will be switching more to the other side of our brain for a moment. What do you look for in design, and related, if you'd like, what do you look for in art? Design might be more immediately relevant, but that's where he's coming from. Sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I think there's, um, I mean, you, you, you want to make something beautiful. I mean, you want to, to trigger whatever fundamental aesthetic algorithms are, like, like in, in your brain, there's, you have, I think, some intrinsic uh, elements that, that represent beauty um, and, and that, that trigger the, the emotion of appreciation of beauty in, in, your, in your mind. Um, and I think that these are, these are actually relatively consistent among people. I mean, not, not completely. Um, some people like, you know, not everyone likes the same thing, but there are, there's a lot of commonality. Um, and and and, and there, yeah, and there, there are th but but I think it, it, it is important to com to combine aesthetic design with functionality. Mm -hmm. Like the the thing that's like if you say like what was really hard about say the Model S or the Model X um, was to combine aesthetics and um, utility. So to to balance the two, um, you can make a car look very good by giving it sort of uh, um, certain proportions. Like making it sort of low and slim, mm. and 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 um, uh, but, but if you uh, if you do that, the, the utility is significantly affected. Um, so the big challenge with the say the Model S was trying to figure out how do we get five adults plus two kids because we want to have sort of a seven seater. It, it, it seems like the Dragon and every Tesla has room for seven. <laughs> seven. With five children. I can see yeah. that might be an important design uh, parameter. <laughs> I definitely don't think we should take the whole family on the spacecraft. <laughs> uh, but but, uh, but, but that, like, the big challenge with the, like, with, with the S was having a car that had a high utility and looked good, um, and the same with the X. Um, so like, it, like, with the, to make a sports car look good is relatively easy, um, but to make a sedan look good or an SUV look good is, is quite difficult. Um, and, um, and I think another principle is you want to have it feel bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. Mm. Um, and that, that's also a really hard thing to do. Um, and then r really pay attention to the little details, the, the, the nuances of, of design and shape and form and function and um, the, you know, just the, the way it looks in different lights. And, when uh, something's off, the little thing, how do you experience that? It drives me bananas. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it's, and it, the, the, the problem is, like, if you, it, you can train yourself to, to pay attention to the tiny details. I think almost anyone can. Um, although, it, 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 this is a very much a double-edged sword, because then you see all the little details. <laughs> um, and then little things drive you crazy. Um, so, but, like, most people don't, they don't see, they don't consciously see the small details, but they, they do subconsciously see them. Like, mm -hmm. you, you, you sort of, your mind takes in a gestalt of the, Overall, you know, the, uh, an overall impression, mm -hmm. and and you you know if something is appealing or not, even though you may not be able to point out exactly why. Hmm. Um, and it's it's the summation of, of these many small details. So most of us experience it as a, oh, I think that's ugly, or I think that's beautiful, or like, wow, that's elegant, but yeah. can't break it down. Or, you mentioned yeah, something yeah. in passing, like you can train yourself in this, though. Yeah, you can train yourself. I think you can make yourself. Pay attention to to why um, you know, essentially to bring the subconscious awareness into conscious awareness. God, I wish I could do that. How do you do that? <laughs> just just pay really close attention. Almost like a meditation on the object and trying to find the details. Like, why do I not like this? Is that what? Yeah, just look look closely and carefully. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, for any given object, it's that it, it's geometry. It's uh, um, I heard someone whisper Steve Jobs, and that thought occurred to me as well. I worked briefly with him, and I, I could only experience it as a visceral agitation with imperfection. And, and, and like, that's just wrong. Like, that has yeah. to be fixed. 
I, I, I have to turn it off, otherwise it I can't go through life. It just, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, the world around you or even in... Yeah, after, in yeah, yeah. If you, because there's, there's always something wrong somewhere all the time. And so, <laughs> um, it, you really have to turn it off, otherwise, you know, God. you just get the, like, the list of, the mental list of things that are wrong it just drives you crazy. I just wish there was a way you could just like record it for everyone else to go fix. Like, it's like this running tally, right? Oh my God. Um.